Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine. So today we're going to unbox my March Sephora Play Box. And I love the subscription box so much. I feel like you get a really good mix of like mid to high end beauty products. And then you also get one fragrance every month. So it's kind of cool. I get to try out things that I probably wouldn't normally buy and then sometimes they surprise you and like you'll have a little holy grail product in there. Um, so if you guys are new to my channel, you just happen to stumble across my space somewhere over the internet, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you're an oldie but a goodie subby, hey, it's always nice to see you again. Okay, so uh, let's get this party started. So this is the box that it comes in. You get like a cute little bag like this. And then you also get a little pamphlet at the bottom, this little thing, and they give you like a little card that allows you to go in, get a little makeover, and also you get uh, 50 extra Beauty Insider points when you use this card, which I love because, I mean, the way I'm set up, like I just accumulate so many Beauty Insider points, so I always love to get to try out, you know, the different little sample stuff that you get as rewards. So I really like that. I don't usually go in to get my makeup done or anything. I'm very like picky about that. Um, but yeah, in the pamphlet, when you open it up, it shows you everything that's inside, how to use it, um, little tips and tricks, if there's a trend that would you know go along with that particular product that's in there so it's always really 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 nice because you know you don't have to take a time and get to like learn the product you just kind of read it and you you know you know how to use it go on your merry way okay so this is this month's bag it says glow your own way and then on the bottom hashtag sephora play really adorable really cute bag it's got you know these little drawstrings on it when we open it let's see what we've got inside this month first thing i'm reaching for this is from benefit Ooh, it's their um what's app what is it i think it's a highlighter i've uh, never actually used this product before oh my god how am i gonna open this oh i see let me just rip it open there's like no easy way Ooh, okay so this is a small little trial size here. Oh, okay, so this is like a really nice cream highlighter. You just kind of dab it on, and then with your finger, blend it together. This is really, really, really cute. It's like definitely more of like a natural glisten highlighter. It's not like super prominent. Even on my dark skin, it doesn't look chalky at all. It's just really like subtle. So if you're more of like a natural person, natural glow, then I think this is going to be for you. Now I've noticed you guys that going into the spring, like highlighting is like this really big trend. It's all over Sephora. Um, if you're interested in like trending makeup, then you know, that's something to look forward to. Um, I have quite a bit of highlighters and I just find that I just don't go through them like fast enough. So I'm just going to work on, you know, going through my current collection and using that up. I really like this. You know what? I would even think this would be good for like a natural makeup day if I wasn't going to wear a foundation because it just like blends into the skin really nicely, but it doesn't look super, um, glittery or anything like that. Just super subtle. Very interesting packaging for a perfume. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay, so inside here, oh, this is cute. Um, the company Atelier Cologne actually included a cute little, what is this? It's like a postcard, and it's got you know California, Hollywood, everything that symbolizes California. Which I live in California, so I'm definitely gonna keep this, and I'm gonna put this on my little. Um, I have like a little board with like you know cutesy, inspirational stuff. And then if you want to actually send this to somebody, you can. All that good stuff. Now I gotta try this. I'm so curious. It's called Clementine. So does this actually smell like oranges or citrusy? We'll see. Oh, it does smell like oranges. It smells so good. Mmm. I really like this. The only thing is, I don't really like the little... I thought it was going to be like a little spray mini. It's just the kind of thing where you got to like 
flip it over like this and dab, which I'm not a big fan of, honestly. I just feel like it's gonna be really easy to waste this product, but obviously I think that's just the way that this mini one is designed. I don't think that the full size actually comes like that, but like you put the stopper in and the stopper itself is kind of like hard to push. Um, but mm, I can't stop smelling it. <laughs> it's like distracting, I can barely talk. It really does smell good. I love the smell of oranges, like clementine kind of stuff. Uh, it's, it's delicious. It's like, it makes you smell good enough to eat. And uh, I like that, I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. I would love to smell good enough to eat all the time. <laughs> okay, next up is, ooh, okay. I'm really excited about this. This is Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original shade. This is like the little packet that it comes in. Let's uh, take this out, let's see what it's about. I had the original primer um, potion like years ago, and although I liked it, when I put it on my eyelid, it was just like too white for me. And sometimes I think, you know, if you don't cover your eyeshadow completely, you can still see it and it just looks awkward, you know what I mean? Um, so that's why I never like went back to it, but I've heard that this is really amazing Put this in your smile lines. If your foundation tends to crease in your smile lines, then I've heard that this is like really, really, really good for preventing that creasing. So that's why I'm excited because I don't have to purchase the full size. I can just use that and put that in my little smile lines. Which, side note, you know, um, I'm trying out new primers and uh, I feel like the one I tried today makes me look particularly glowy, but not greasy. I'm loving it. Um, I'm not gonna say too much about it because I think I'm gonna do a video on it soon, but yeah, just a little side note. <laughs> Next up, we have, okay. Uh, this is the brand Josie Moran. Um, she does a lot of like argan oil products for hair, for skin. And this one here is the Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. Um, I wanna know if it smells good. I'm all about smelling good stuff. It doesn't really smell like too much. But the balm feels really, really, really nice. It's supposed to be a finishing balm that you can put either under your makeup um, or you can put on top for places that you wanna give like a natural glow. Putting it on my hand right now, I don't feel like it's gonna give a natural glow. Um, it just kind of feels like regular lotion. Feels a little bit, now actually, you know what? It melts into the skin, which I'll give it, but I don't think I would use it as like a highlighting thing. I think this would be really good for those no makeup days when you just want your skin to look slightly luminous. Um, yeah, yeah, like on my skin, doesn't really smell like anything, doesn't look shiny, um, just looks like regular lotion. I mean, I like face lotion, so it's not a bad thing. Then we have, oh, okay, so this is from Glam Glow. I feel like this month, they're giving us really like good high-end stuff. This is their Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in the color Nude Glow. Nude Glow, I'm like, hmm, is this gonna even match my skin tone? What's gonna happen here? Putting this on here. Oh, okay. So I guess the fact that it says Nude Glow doesn't even matter because when you blend it out, it is just like a regular lotion. Smells divine. Mmm. And it does give like a nice little like sheen here. Oh, mm. yeah, you can see it like, not here, <laughs> right here. It's just really, really subtle. My only concern is personally for me lately, I've been really oily and I don't know if that's going to make me even more oily, you know what I mean? But I definitely love that. Um, I'm definitely, I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna be open-minded. I'm working on that when it comes to makeup products because I can just be really, I like what I like, you know? Um, but I'm gonna give this a try and I'm gonna see if I do look super oily at the end of the day, you know? But I think this is something I would use definitely, like for example, post gym or just no makeup days. Then, I think this is the last one. This is from 
a company called Verb. It's called Ghost Oil, and it's supposed to be a hair oil. It's supposed to Blah. <laughs> it's supposed to smooth and uh, prevent frizziness and you guys know like I have natural hair if you've seen any of my old videos and I'm always looking for oils this one has argan and moringa oil moringa oil is from India originally and that's what they use it for smoothing hair cuticles and you know dry skin and all that jazz so let me just open it up. Oh, okay. I was actually expecting a little dropper here, but it just comes in like a little, like, you know, you can open this up, pour it out like a regular little, whatever you call this, top. <laughs> actually, yeah, it does smell like um, a very mild herbal essences type of smell. If you've had the conditioner, the shampoos from herbal essences, it smells like that, but it's super mild, like not as potent as herbal essences. Just very, just a little bit in there, which I kind of like. That's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I think I got a really nice like smattering of products this month. I feel like I'm on like a good subscription box, like high, you know? <laughs> I've been getting like good stuff this month, so I'm excited about it. it gives me an excuse to try new things, um, and I love that. So yeah, um, let me know you guys. I'm also looking for more video suggestions. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. If you wanna see more makeup tutorials, more product reviews, um, if you wanna see like more unboxings or whatever, whatever type of video you like, I wanna know. And please just be like more specific about it. That way it gives me an idea for when I plan my videos ahead, what I should be planning. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.